In this lesson, we will learn about Infrastructure Operations Master. First of all, we will learn how replication works in a multiple domain forest. After that, we will learn about the phantom records. Then we will learn about the roles of the Infrastructure Operations Master. And finally, we sum up our lesson with the keynotes. As you know, a domain controller stores a writable domain partition of its domain, which contains all objects in the domain with full attribute set. A global catalog server is a domain controller that replicates partial attribute set of its domain objects to partner global catalog servers in other domains. It also receives read-only copies of the partial attribute set objects in other domains from the partner global catalog servers. Now, let's take a look at this Active Directory forest. In this forest, we have two domains. The root domain is itlifeskills.local and the child domain is ncsa.itlifeskills.local. The root domain has only one domain controller, so it has the writable full attribute set objects of its domain itlifeskills.local. The try domain has three domain controllers, so each domain controller has the writable full attribute set objects of its domain ncsa.itlifeskills.local. The root domain and the try domain each has only one global catalog server, so they form the partnership. After the partnership is formed, the global catalog server in the root domain will replicate its domain objects, but only with partial attribute set to the global catalog server in the try domain. Similarly, the global catalog server in the child domain will replicate its domain objects, but only with partial attribute set to the global catalog server in the root domain. After the replication, the global catalog server in the root domain has the read only of the partial attribute set objects of the child domain ncsa.itlifeskills.local. And the global catalog server in the child domain has the read only of the partial attribute set objects in the root domain itlifeskills.local. So what is partial attribute set? As you know, partial attribute set of an object contains attributes that are most frequently used to search for the object. The attributes in the partial attribute set are initially set by the ID installation process to replicate to the global catalog. Later on, administrators with schema admin permission can set new or existing attributes to replicate to the global catalog to make the attributes become the members of the partial attribute set. Let's learn how phantom records are created by analyzing the activities in this ad forest. In the root domain of the ad forest, we create a new user as user A. The user A is created with the full attribute set, and here are some of the attributes of the user A. As soon as the user A is created, it will be replicated to the global catalog server of the child domain, but only with the partial attribute set. Now, in the loss. PVDC11 of the child domain, 
we create a new group named group A and we try to add the user A in the root domain to the group A. As you can see, those PVDC 11 does not have the information of the user A. So it have to query the global catalog server for the information of the user A. Now, in order to add the user A's to group A, those PVDC 11 have to create a phantom records of the user A, then add it to the group A. The phantom record only contain the distinguished name, the object squid, and the object sys of the user A. The phantom records then will be replicated to OS PVDC 11 because OS PVDC 11 is not a global catalog server. As you can see, when a container object of a domain refers to an object in another domain, this creates the phantom record of the objects of the source domain in all non-global catalog domain controllers in the target domain. And a phantom record contains only the object squid, object sys, and object distinguished name. Please note that phantom records are not replicated to global catalog servers since the global catalog servers have already have the past objects of all domains in the forest. In another word, global catalog servers do not have any phantom records. When the security ID or the distinguished name of an object in the source domain is updated, it will be replicated to the global catalog servers of the target domain. However, the security ID or the distinguished name is not updated in the phantom records stored in non-global catalog servers in the target domain. Let's take a look at this ID for us. As you can see, currently the user A is stored in the user's container in the root domain. Now, if we move user A to the ITOUs, then the chains will be replicated to GPVDC11 of the child domain and update the distinguished name of the user A to the ITOUs because GPVDC11 is a global catalog server. However, the distinguished name of the user A phantom records stored in LOS PVDC 11 and OS PVDC 11 are not updated because they are not the global catalog servers. To update phantom records, Active Directory use infrastructure master. The infrastructure master is a non-global catalog domain controller responsible for checking with global catalog servers to see if there is any changes in the security ID or distinguished name of all phantom records. If it finds any changes, it will update its phantom records, which will then be replicated to all non-global catalog domain controllers in the domain. So in this ID for us, as you can see, OS PVDC 11 is the infrastructure master. So it will check with the global catalog server, which is GPVDC 11. And in this case, it finds the change in the distinguished name of the user A. So it will update its distinguished name of the user A phantom records. And the change will be replicated to LOS PVDC 11 and it updated the distinguished name of the user A phantom records on LOS PVDC 11. 
Now you can easily figure out that the infrastructure master stops functioning if it is also a global catalog server because it does not have phantom records to check the changes. Also, in an AD forest with one domain or in a multi domain AD forest where all domain controllers are global catalog servers, then there will be no phantom records and therefore the infrastructure master is not functioning. This is the end of this lesson. Let's read the keynotes.